In this video, we'll walk through how Postman can help secure your APIs from the design process and throughout the development and testing process. We'll cover how to work with governance and security rules in the API Builder and Request Interface, best practices for working with sensitive information in Postman variables, setting up role-based access controls on workspaces and their elements, and finally, we'll take a look at token scanning alerts. When designing APIs, security and compliance considerations should be top of mind early in the API design process. Postman's spectral security linting capabilities can help by ensuring API specifications are well-formed and compliant. In a similar manner, Postman's governance rules can help to enforce standardization in the API design process, making sure the resulting services are consistent and complete. On the homepage under your team's name and logo, you'll see options for API security and API governance, which will take you to the respective rule configuration pages. Let's start with the API security page. Here, you'll see an overview of which rules are enabled for your team, with the option to toggle rules on or off and create new rules. By default, Postman provides some default security rules corresponding to the OWASP top 10 rules for API definitions and requests. You'll see two tabs here at the top. Definitions define the rules that will be displayed when working on an API definition in the API Builder, while rules under requests will be triggered when running a request from a collection. From either of these tabs, you can toggle the rule on or off, expand rule to see its description, or click into the rule's name to see the underlying rule details. Note that only the admins have the ability to add or toggle rules, and that these rules will be applied across all workspaces. If we take a look at the governance rules page, you'll see that the interface is very similar with the ability to toggle rules on or off and add your own with the added ability to import rules from the Postman library. Let's go in and add a new rule. You'll see that at the top level, we have this rules property, then one level down, we have the name of the rule. Here, rules is always plural and you can add one or more rules at a time. Postman supports many spectral features, but not all. Check out the Postman Learning Center for more information on using Spectral in Postman. You'll need to make sure your rules are valid before saving them, and you can use a tool like the Governance Rules Playground shown here to do this. Once saved, remember to toggle your custom rules on so that they'll be applied. Now that we have our rules defined, let's see how they work when editing our APIs. When we navigate back to the API Builder, we can review the warnings and errors in the bottom rules pane. As you navigate through, you can see all instances of the rule violation, see the severity, and read more about the potential fix if applicable. If any of these rules don't apply to the API you're building, you can disable them with the hide button and give a reason. Maybe this particular rule isn't relevant to your project. To see all hidden rules and information like who hid them and why, you can click here. Security alerts for requests can be seen when sending a request in a collection. Then clicking over to the Security tab. Similar to the API Builder, you can hide these alerts or click the link to see a possible fix in the Postman Learning Center. Once an API has progressed through the design stage, it's time to consider how to keep data secure during the development and testing process. Postman provides several types of variables that can be used to store and reuse information. Local variables, which are variables passed between collection scripts, are not visible in the UI and are only preserved for the length of a collection run. Collection variables, which only apply to the current collection. Environment variables, which are groupings of variables that apply to the entire workspace and can be cycled through to represent different scenarios. And finally, global variables, which apply to an entire workspace regardless of environment. Collection, environment, and global variables have columns labeled initial value and current value. Initial values are synced with Postman servers, while current values are local to your machine and will be reset with every Postman session. Initial values are great for storing any values that should be shared across teammates, like server URLs or non-sensitive information. When dealing with sensitive information, however, only the current value column should be used. This will keep the value local to you and prevent the value from syncing to the servers for others to see. There's also the option of using secret variable types. 
It's good practice to use the secret type for any sensitive information as the values will be masked to prevent exposure during screen share or over the shoulder observance. It should be noted, however, that secret values are only obscured in the UI and are not considered safe to share in a public workspace or with those who should not have access to the value. To use a variable in a request, use the double curly brackets to surround your variable name and Postman will resolve the variable with its current value when the request is sent. While we have covered best practices for individual handling of data, Postman also provides some safeguards to formalize these responsibilities and prevent leakage of sensitive information. User roles are available at the element, workspace, and team level. Though it's good practice that everyone at an organization understands how these roles work, implementation of these features may fall to the project owners and team leaders. Let's start with the most granular of these and work our way up. Each element in Postman, like a collection or an API, has controls limiting who is allowed to interact with it, giving teams structure and control around who can modify elements. The viewer and editor roles are just as they sound. Viewers are able to view but cannot save changes to a collection or other element. The best practice here is for them to fork their own copy to work with and submit a pull request if needed. Editors are allowed to make and save changes. Similar roles are available at a workspace level. Viewers can only send requests inside of a workspace. Editors can add and remove elements. And admins can manage workspace members, roles, and details. When assigning out these roles, you may be tempted to assign everyone who will need access to a collection an editor role to bypass inevitable requests for access. However, we do recommend assigning the viewer role by default, then editor and admin roles to others on a truly as-needed basis. This will prevent unintentional or unapproved changes to the collection that could include sensitive information, which is especially important if this is a shared or a published collection. For added security when working with sensitive values, Postman has built-in token scanner alerts, notifying you through email, Slack, or in-app notifications when the app suspects you've saved your request with a sensitive token value or taken an action that would expose an existing sensitive value, like taking a workspace from team to public visibility. The default list of values that will trigger alerts include commonly used API key patterns like Airtable, GitHub, etc., with the ability to define your own custom alerts. If you do see one of these alerts pop up, before dismissing it, be sure to track down the exposed value and delete your API key immediately. For now, token scanning is only available for use in public workspaces, with team workspace scanning expected later in the year. To recap, we've covered managing and adding governance and security rules, working with variables in a way that will keep your data secure, role-based access controls for keeping your workspaces assigned to the right people, and token scanning to alert you when any sensitive information might have been exposed. Hopefully now you feel a little more confident working with Postman in a secure manner.